Hi, my name is Thomas Maurer. I'm a senior program manager for Azure Hybrid at Microsoft. And in this video, we are going to talk about how you can manage your Azure Arc enabled servers with Windows Admin Center directly within the Azure portal without the need of a public IP address, open ports, VPNs and stuff in place. And so you can manage your servers running on premises in your local data center edge location or even at other cloud providers using Azure Arc. So we all know that we actually need to manage servers right across the board and servers are not just running in Microsoft Azure. They're also running in on-premises data centers, edge locations such as branch offices, retail stores, factories, or even other cloud providers. And so we offer with Azure Arc the possibility to actually connect these servers to the Azure control plane and then use Azure management services to manage these servers such as update management, policies, um, and much, much more. However, um, there are some certain tasks where you need to really do some deep management and troubleshooting of that specific server, right? And we have some great tools called uh, Windows Admin Center, for example, which you can install locally um, to then connect to these different servers and manage them. However, if you're away and you're like sitting probably at home uh, or you're at a company where you don't have VPN access to all the servers where you're running it, like their re your retail stores, your company's retail stores or factories or even just different data center locations, um, that can be challenging, right? And so with Azure Arc, we allow you to connect these servers to the Azure control plane, as I mentioned. And now with Windows Admin Center in the Azure portal, you can access these servers basically from anywhere in a secure way without opening additional ports. Uh, and it's an encrypted agent connection. The way it opens up is you install the Azure Connected Machine Agent or also known as Azure Arc Agent. This one opens a connection to the Azure Control Plane and that's obviously an encrypted connection. Uh, you can set it up in different ways, like depending on if you're behind a proxy or anything, but this is how you can set it up. And from there, we can then manage that server. So, but instead of talking about it, um, let's just have a look. So here you see a Hyper-V server I'm running on premises. Uh, and you can see I run a couple of different servers here. Um, again, they're just running here. They have different applications on it and so on. What I already have done is I already have connected these servers to the Azure portal using Azure Arc, right? And when I say Azure portal, what I mean is Azure Arc, right? And the Azure control plane. So now I, they not just look like they are in Azure, they're actually becoming Azure resources. Even though they run outside of the Azure data center, I can now start managing these as if they would be Azure resources. So let's have a quick look here first on one of the servers here. And so let's go to file server two here. And this one shows up and you can see here, it looks like an Azure resource. It's already part of a resource group, of a subscription. Uh, you can see here some versioning information, but you can also see some additional stuff like what operating system am I running? For example, in this case, it's Windows Server 2019. You can also see that this is actually part of a uh, Active Directory domain. Uh, and that said, it doesn't necessarily need to be part of a domain, right? It can be, but it can also be in just a work group or it can be different domains. Uh, that really doesn't matter. Uh, you can also, add then tags to organize these different servers as you can do with all, the, all other Azure resources. In this case, I chose to have a data center, a city and a country tag to understand where this specific server is actually placed. And then I also added a cost center tag to actually organize my resource and see where, um, where the servers belong to and how they generate different costs. Now, if you look at the menu and I went through this in another video, you now see that it is an Azure resource. So you get all the benefits from it. You have the activity logs where you can see who basically did changes to the machine, uh, who logged in, like who did access, like it makes it auditable. 
And then you also have role-based access control which comes with that. So I can give access now to different teams to that server, or I can like also exclude obviously teams from accessing that system and managing it through the Azure control plane. So that is pretty cool. But then if we scroll down, we have more stuff to show you. And they're gonna talk about Windows Admin Center in just a bit. But you can also look here, for example, at other things we're offering, such as Microsoft Defender for Cloud, which helps you to like really improve your security and gives you recommendations based on uh, the, our, our learnings we have in Azure and other operations. Uh, we do and then you can also see at the bottom here we get some additional information such as software inventory change tracking policies and update management but again these are all great tools especially when you do management at scale however in some cases you now need to go and you need to do some specific management tasks you need to change a file a registry entry you want to just monitor that server in real time to figure out what is going on um, you might want to copy a file on the machine uh, and much, much more. So that is where Windows Admin Center comes in. So there are a couple of things you need to do, very simple to actually get to set this up. So first you hit Windows Admin Center and you will see that you have a setup button. Now, that is the first thing you need to do, right? So you need to go and basically press that button and this then will deploy and enable the Windows Admin Center extension on the Arc enabled server. So that is a pretty cool thing to do very small, very quick. Um, and again, it will take a couple of seconds to minutes until that is done. Again, this will then allow you to connect to that server through an Azure connection without having a VPN. Um, the other thing you need to do, actually do is you need to go, uh, and for that we go to another Azure Arc enabled server, which I already configured. You need to give access rights to the users or a group of users to actually uh, use Windows Admin Centers. So if I go to Role Assignments here, uh, I can actually see what is assigned, and I already did that. And so on the bottom, you will find a role called Windows Admin Center Administrator Login. So I added my user here, um, so I can actually log in using Windows Admin Center. I can obviously also enable a group to this. So that means I could actually give access to the Arc enabled server, but people could not log into the machine directly using Windows Admin Center um, if they don't have permissions. Uh, to add that, you can simply hit the Add button here and follow the wizard to do so. So in this case, I already did hit the Setup button on that server. So you can see that I now have a Connect button. And so if I hit the Connect button, this will now open up the connection uh, to that specific Arc-enabled server. Uh, and you will see here, it will ask me for a local username of this machine. Uh, so I will enter that. Again, this can, when the server is domain short, it can also be a domain user. I hit sign in, and you will see that now Windows Admin Center is loading within the Azure portal itself, right? So it will have the menu. You will see in the middle now, you have the dashboard where you get all the information about the specific server. Uh, you can see here, we have some graphs. For example, for CPU utilization, so you get some real-time data on this. Same thing for memory utilization, network traffic, or also disk uh, usage as well, right? So that is that is pretty cool stuff. And then if you look at the left side, this is actually the menu where we have different extensions, as we call them, to manage that server. So you can manage your certificates on that machine, your devices, your event logs, your firewall settings. You can upload and download files or create new folders, uh, add local users and groups and manage these as well. Uh, so some pretty cool stuff and all web-based, right? One thing I also want to show you, which I find is pretty cool, you can also do some uh, web-based registry editing. So you could go and basically have a look at the registry here. So if I go to system, you can browse through this, right? And go um, to the specific uh, services you want to have a look at uh, and, and actually see what's going on. And you could even change values or add keys as well. There is also, by the way, the possibility to use performance monitor. So you're probably familiar with performance monitor on your machine itself. Uh, we have a new one already for a while now um, in Windows Admin Center. And now with Windows Admin Center and the Azure portal, you can actually start that directly within the Azure portal without art creating an RTP connection to that server. And you can use the performance counters and other stuff 
to actually monitor what's going on on that system, which is very helpful if you're doing some troubleshooting as well. Now, I'm sure there are stuff which you cannot necessarily do without uh, like a direct connection. So what you can do here is you can also open up a PowerShell connection. So this will open up PowerShell and create a connection to that specific system, right? So from now, you can then basically run your PowerShell connections on that machine, or you could also go and basically uh, hit the remote desktop button and then um, log in with that specific uh, account and then create a remote desktop connection to that server and then basically manage that server uh, directly from the web. And you can see here, I can then open up um, all the stuff I want to do. So that is pretty cool stuff. I hope uh, you like that and you will try it out. It's currently, as you can see here, uh, available in preview in the Azure portal. The only thing you need to do is basically connect your servers to Azure Arc and then basically enable the Windows Admin Center extension. So I hope this was helpful. And if you liked that video, hit the like button, make sure you subscribe to the channel and hopefully see you in the next one.